We begin tonight with details on a deadly fire that took everything from a Luzerne County family. Eyewitness News reporter Christina Shalhoop is live for us tonight in Freeland with the latest. Christina? Nick, Candace, this fatal fire was a tough one to fight, but I'm going to step out of the shot here and let you see the result for yourselves. The damage looks terrible, but this, in comparison to the emotional toll that it'll have on one family, is nothing. The families, the victims, the firefighters, uh, they are in the hearts of prayers. Nine people live in this Ridge Street double block. Eight of them made it out. Family got lost in the end and I do, it breaks my heart. When firefighters arrived on scene, they confirmed that a man was trapped in the back of the building. Despite their efforts, the fire was just too heavy. That uh, really restricted us from gaining access faster than we could for the, you know, to try to, to make the rescue of the victim. Three of the people who did make it out were injured, along with three firefighters. We had a May Day with firefighters down inside trying to make the rescue. All are expected to be okay. The home, however, is a different story. Uh, the 840 to 838 property is going to be a total loss. Everything that she worked so hard for got lost. Now with this nightmare having become a reality, people like Sierra are hoping that friends and neighbors will step in to help. Tragedies in general of something like this, the town does step up and get together. Just an attempt to make hard times a little easier. At the end of the day, they're great people who didn't deserve something like this to happen to them. The cause of the fire is still unknown, but at this time, it is not being investigated as suspicious. In Freeland, Christina Shalhoop, Eyewitness News. Christina, thank you for the.